what's up guys? Today we'll be changing a metaphor on the 2003 Ford Windstar. It's just like a free star. So you gotta take the wiper blades off, take that off first. Then you gotta take this cover off. I already loosened it, so it's just clip on. So okay. you're just gonna use like a star head to take it off. Like he doesn't like this. What I'm changing. This is how it looks like. So this is the ignition pack. So see this. If it has cracks on it, it'll miss fire. So I'll be changing this. Little, little windshield uh, washer uh, whatever sheets the water so this is the pipe for it just that I'm un okay just pull it like before you start working on your car make sure you unplug the battery That's the most thing you always unplug the battery. Always. This is super open. You can see this is pretty dirty, so. Then this little scoozer number eight and uh ignition pack is number seven. I opened this before. I opened it like one year ago. Like if your car misfire, it sounds like a car bullet, like backfires. This what it is, misfire, right? So make sure you make sure you check it. Make, it might be spark plug wires or the ignition pack wire or the ignition coil, right? Ignition pack. Ignition pack is what sends all the like when you put your car to start, it shoots sends a single to it, that's how you, the single goes to the starter, then that's where your car starts, right? If you don't know spark, your car will never start. So the screws I'm opening right now is number 8. There's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like if you get this done at a shop, it's usually like Probably like two, three hundred dollar labor job. The brand new part is 115 plus GST in Canada. In the US, I don't know. I, but in the US, the parts are a little bit cheaper. So this is number eight. And make sure you just keep it like a good place so you don't drop it. Like you don't lose it.
Actually, it's more easy. Like all the windshield wash, like the washer fluid is not coming out. I don't know why at the front. I changed the motor on it, but it's not working right now. So I gotta look uh, look at it probably in a couple of days. Lucky summer in Canada right now. We got probably like two months more. September, October, then snow will be coming. Winter time. So, just to fix your cars right now and get it everything done. The winter comes, you know, it's kind of hard, it's cold. So, like in the States, some people, like in LA, it's better, right? No snow. Like these vans they made, you could use the part from, like I said, from pre-start. They made for 2004 to 2007 pre-start van. You could use it on the wind start. You know what I mean? Some parts, like because the engine's like 3.9. Like some parts you could use, but some parts you can't. I wish I had power tools, I do, but I don't have a, like, a battery pack to charge, so I have to get one. It's like a good, you know, it's a good power tool, but I can't find the battery packet at the entire, so it's like V12 Bosch, it's good quality, it's like $250, you know. Good work out. It rained all day yet all night yesterday. So it's kinda of wet. Okay. 
I had this van for like two years. I just use it just for work, like you know, just for business and stuff. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna plug the battery back to the I think they're maybe. Just un un unplug the ground. So. I didn't open anything electrical yet, so I'm not worried about it. So, this wire, you just put it here for now. Pull one more right over here. I can see it. So. I see it part tool, you know, to be a little bit faster. So. It's not bad. If you don't have it, you don't really need it. I'm changing this because this car is like when it when it's like to the stop sign or at a red light when you hit the gas it doesn't pick up speed right so that's what it is See how easy that is? There's so much things in the garage, you know? I'm going to take this whole thing apart, but I'll just put it to the side. So.
so I'll get to it. You can see it, the thing is right over, see my hand? So, it's right over back there. So. The thing is blocking is this. This was blocking. It, so. So this thing is right over here. So where I'm pointing is right on the bottom. So that's what I'm taking out. So you see? This is what I'm taking out right over here. With these wires. So there's two screws on this side, one screw that side. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. 27 mm. So, let me see this out first. See, this is the nuts, this is how it looks like. You should keep it so it's going back in the pocket. And this one needs to be flexible like your ratchet, so it has to be flexible.
and make sure you just get your numbers right like you know so it's not like So I'll put this in, then I'll take those numbers, all those, that one out. Because that will make it easier. So that's in, that's in. Last one.
almost done. See the crack over there? So that's what goes like backfire. It sounds like a gun bullet, right? So that's what it is, like but but. So like this was a used part before, so Now I can tighten this up. Like on a free start, it's a little bit harder to take off. On a wing start, easier, you know what I mean? And make sure you get the numbers right, right? And make sure it doesn't have like whale or like anything, you know? And you don't need to tighten it all the way tight, tight, tight. So you can trip, trip the nut, you just need to tight it enough. What? So just it's not like tight, tight, it's just like the way it's tight enough, you know? Because you don't want to break, strip the plastic. See? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
picture of Dolly. Then now I'll just connect the So, there you go. That's how it's done, guys. I'm going to end the video here and I'll put everything back how it was. So, I'll show you how it is. You can see what I did. Put it in and change it. So, that's how it is. And this is a 2003 Ford Windstar. And you can do this to any van you like. So, comment, subscribe, and let me know how I did. Thanks, and let me know what do you guys want to see next.